Hi, my name is Yuri Saito Loftus, and I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic with a special interest in gastrointestinal motility problems. Motility refers to the movement of food through the stomach, small intestine, and colon. Today, I would like to talk about functional dyspepsia. What is functional dyspepsia? It refers to upper belly discomfort that is typically meal related. Some might call it indigestion. That discomfort can be an actual pain, but it may also feel like heartburn, bloating, or simply a fullness or nausea that stops you from eating. Functional dyspepsia is very common. We don't always understand why the symptoms happen. Blood tests, endoscopy, x-rays, and CT scans all return normal. The good news? It isn't cancer or a life-threatening disorder. The harder to accept news is that we can't always find a reason why the symptoms happen. I tell my patients that like a car, all the parts are in place and appear to be working, but there are knocks and pings in their digestion causing these symptoms. The digestion process from mouth to bottom is amazingly complex. It is a dynamic process that changes and adjusts with the type and quantity of food you eat, as well as how the food you ate days ago was digested and eliminated. The digestive organs act like a sophisticated conveyor belt, with food ground up in the stomach, released slowly when food is small enough, and trickled down through the small intestines, where it is broken down into small particles that the body can absorb. More digestion happens in the colon, which also serves to store the food, now waste, and eventually eliminates the waste days later. It is not so surprising, perhaps, that there may be discomfort as the food moves through over 20 feet of the digestive tract. As doctors, we are always striving to learn more about the human body, to understand why problems arise. When we understand why the problems arise, we can find better treatment. There are several treatment options available for functional dyspepsia. Most treatments are geared towards decreasing spasms in the GI tract. Some treatments are geared towards calming the stomach nerves that are sensitized to these knocks and pings. I recommend working with your healthcare provider to find one that works best for you. Thank you for your time and interest.